Hey guys, Victor and Ricks here from Stream of Thought, wanting to let you know that we are not only on iTunes anymore. We've expanded onto Spotify and Stitcher. You can also find us on Podbean. Please, if you listen to our podcast, leave us a rating. We would love your feedback. Also, send an email to streamofthoughtpodcast at gmail.com. We would love to hear anything that you have for us. Thanks for listening. Here we are, Stream of Thought. What a beautiful, beautiful day it is. <laughs> for and not so dying. <laughs> for in memoriam, episode yeah. number 92. And here we are, though. Uh, we start off with a little bit of Christmas has come early. Yeah. Christmas in Rick's May. Rick's brought me a bunch of his family's records that they Old are totally getting record, rid of. Uh, so we go the through them. More. Yeah. So we, we look at some, actually some Yeah, we go through classics. a few of them. But we end up sort of straying, uh, straying into the woods for a little bit. Yeah, but before that little story, Rick's just had a few things he needed to get off his chest. Just We had a small episode of Ranting Rick's. You know, Victor made the mistake of Mild. asking me a question that he knew he would get. I instigated from. the ranting. Really it was very short, though. <laughs> And then my story on another student film that I did uh, with people associated with the, one of the first student films I did, which was a disaster, and just kind of my, uh, just... Life experiences. Life experiences. And we wrap things up. We've got a bit of an announcement at the very end of the podcast. Uh, small announcement. Small announcement. Maybe a little bit of changes coming in the near future. So if you're interested in learning what's up for us next on stream of thought we'll make another we can yeah well just listen to the episode like usual yeah <laughs> you will be filled in episode number 92 stream of thought we hope you enjoy <laughs> all right so we've got a special treat for me today man rick's brought some of his family's records like the philharmonic that they do not care for. Yeah, we had but this a lot pile of this stuff. Of... Also, like Philharmonic Family Library of Great Music. I don't care for this, but I will certainly take the time to listen to it someday, and I'm sure I will really enjoy it. <laughs> so there's that. Let's see what we got so here. So we're gonna go through a, each individual a record. Pile that probably contains oh fifty plus records. It doesn't look like that maybe big 40, of a pile. Maybe thirty. For 30, I'm really, okay, ba- I'm records, really yeah. bad at number judgment, so I'm just throwing out numbers. There's, wow. more, there's more than a dozen. Merv Griffin's Dance Party. Merv Griffin's Dance this Party. This is so fun. So real quick, let's go. What was the record that you were telling that your, your mom about that you were thinking of that... Um, oh, the, 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 one, the one that I felt like uh, you, would, you would appreciate? Yes. It's a family one. The Confederacy, 1861 to 1865. Take a look at that shit. It is not just the record, but it is also historical documentation. This is like a a book in here. And. What's it a record of? Of all the great songs of the Confederacy. No way. Yes. No way. The record is still in mint condition. Um, It's really never been used. Maybe got a little dust wow. on it, but you can, uh, I think, like, old Dixie's in there or something like that. Holy cow. These are just, like, like the songs they'd sing when they're marching or, like, just, like, stuff that was popular back then. Yeah. I didn't even know that, like, it's so weird because I think of that about that sometimes. Like, what music was out there prior to, um, prior to music being able to be recorded? Like, what music was out there that we've lost that we don't have anymore because it just stopped being passed down or it was slowly... Evolved and changed. Or evolved, evolved. Yeah, yeah. This is. I caught a glimpse of this when you, I think, brought it into my car. I yeah. saw a record, so I tried not to look at him. I saw the Confederate flag, so I thought it was maybe um, a Leonard Skinner album. Really yeah, quick. no, it's it's an actual Confederacy album. Very cool. So, so yeah, enjoy. That's and that's that's from the family. It goes back that, generations. How, I don't really. So, so some of these records belong to your grandparents. Or uh, what? I believe so. Yeah. I don't even know who's the artist on this one. It doesn't say. I oh, that's another. Is this another Merv Griffin dance party? Maybe. Gary Plunkett. Barry, Barry, or Gary Puckett in the Puckett. Union Gap, featuring Lady Willpower. I've never even heard All of them. Right. This one is 
doesn't look in good, very good condition. Knockers up, Rusty Warren. <laughs> You Dane gotta tell. Williams. You gotta tell me if you've heard of any. Of I these haven't. People. I will stop and I will tell you if I've oh, heard okay. of any of these people. Andy Williams, Days of Sorry. Wine and Roses, and other TV requests. Are these all? These are all the Philharmonic. Shit. Okay, so this whole book, I guess. Is, that whole thing there is, is Philharmonic. The Phil- oh, okay, yeah, the family of great music from the Philharmonic. So there's Beethoven, Mozart, Verdi. Cool. What is this? Wow. Okay. No this is yeah. okay. So, Bill Dance, and this album cover is a picture of a guy in a boat fishing. And you open it up. <laughs> oh my God. And it's got all these images bluffs, farm ponds. Creeks and channels. It looks like objects. it looks like one of those maps that you might get explaining all the different creatures in a zoo. Exactly. Or like that, or, um, so there's an image right here that there's a picture of a tree, and then there's an image of a sun labeled sun, and it shows you the distance from the tree to the like where the where the shade is. This is super weird. This almost looks like something you'd find in a in an elementary school, like exactly like you said, explaining how a map works or like. Yeah, what, what, uh, these, is there a record inside of there? I, yeah, I, I, there is. is. What the yeah, hell? that's weird. This one looks like a Christmas present. It's it, a record. Oh, it's wait a, a minute. This is a no rec- way. No one bothered to. No way. Okay. <laughs> so this looks like it was a Christmas <laughs> gift. Oh, that is great. Oh my god, dude. I if I were to guess, I feel like this was wrapped in the forties. So Holy we have cow. red An wrapping paper. Present. With gold ribbon. Yeah, this it looks shit like is someone old. started to open it and was like, no, this sucks. I'm not going to bother opening the rest. Because the ribbon around it is completely intact. Yeah. And the paper this is just torn a little bit. Bless, bless this house. Delta Records. I'm just going to rip this open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I? Oh, oh, it... Let's just rip this open because I want to see. Christmas is coming early. Oh my god, I don't want to rip it though because I'm getting dust everywhere too. <laughs> there is oh, there, if we just. Yeah, yeah, slide it off. Slide, if you can slide it off it somehow. The there we go. It's a team effort. Should... All right. Great, great visuals for oh a my audio podcast. Dust is going. Bless this house. St. Michael's Unopened. Adult Choir. Wow. Delta Records. What year is this from? All right, so it's not from the 40s, but it certainly Bless felt like it based on how much dust was on the uh, thing. I don't know. It doesn't say a year. The is there a year on the front? Oh, oh, here it is. The 60 member adult choir organized in 1973. It looks like it's side one. Okay. So they're doing different songs. Yeah, I don't know. 70s. Yeah. What's next? Al Holoma, Songs of the Island. I don't know what that is. Andy Williams, or William. Battle him of the Republic. Oh, my goodness. Look at this photo. <laughs> wow, that's um, intense. This is like some, uh, you can tell be- this photo on the back. I saw recently a, uh, a short video, like a Vox video, on how they created color images when they first started creating color images and you can totally tell this is like I mean no this is probably like the 60s or 70s yeah very sooner than that but you can tell that this old color you can tell this photo is in it's in color but it's trying really hard to just retain its black and whiteness <laughs> original hits dynamite Bachman okay I recognize okay I shot the sheriff, cool in the game. Oh, okay, this okay. I re- I yeah. recognize some of this. Yeah. Okay. Finally. A so we've got record. some BTO, Nazareth, Clapton, cool in the game. Elton John. Albert Hammond, Elton John, Rick Derringer, Lobo, Gladys Knight and the Pips. Mm, okay, mm, this record mm, I recognize. Yeah, that's a good one. I recognize that. The Hustle Factory presents Do the Hustle. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. What is this? Oh. This is just okay. I'm looking. I'm reading right now some of the uh, 
tracks that are on the back. Awesome. This is like disco-like music. All right, cool. We got another winner. Don't know what that is. Dawn. Dawn featuring Tony Tony Orlando tune weaving. I've never heard of this. No way. Okay, so this is the front. The, the front image is like a cliche. There's three people all wearing what looks to be like black. Turtlenecks. Be, turtlenecks behind a black um, yeah, background. Yeah, so you can only see their faces. Yeah. And it looks like their faces but are dude, look at the But dude, look at the back. Ready for this? Yeah. Flipping the record over. It's the oh, same photo, wow. but a cro but a version it's where it's crocheted. It would have been cooler if the actual <laughs> cover was crocheted. I had to feel it. It looked. Oh, it that was, would have been was, cool. That, that yeah. Cool, uh, design. More mm. of less. Right away, I can tell this is a Les Paul album. <laughs> Les Paul and his who's, trio. Who's, who's Les Paul? The guitarist. Okay. Okay. Blues, not super into blues, but I'll accept it. High Fidelity, Somerset. Hits from The Sound of Music. Do, Re, Mi. Right away. That's oh, a winner. I think you'll... I don't know if you're a Rod Stewart fan. What? Yes. 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 Rod Stewart. Wow, this is... Blondes have more fun. Interesting. <laughs> Do you think I'm sexy? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is probably... Yes! Okay, I'm excited Something my dad one. totally listened to. Herman's Hermits! Hermits. <laughs> my mom, I think, has this record. Really? My mom was really into Herman's Herman's Hermits. Wow. Yes. My mom really liked them. Um, I like how right here someone started drawing in this little circle with a pen. Like, oh, yeah. Like when you get bored yeah. in school, you just start doodling. I Herman's bet, Hermits. I bet that was my dad. Very interesting. Their second album, Hermits, Her Herman's Hermits on Tour. Yeah, this is from the 60s. Wow. In April of 1965, the Hermits came to the United States. Wow. We love you, Herman. They put the N backwards on this photo that they included. Some of, of a fan. Now, what's so interesting, too, is that, like, these have been in my family for God knows how many Who's generations. Who's Jezuski? Huh? Does that name mean anything to you? Jezuski? Jezuski? Yeah. No. And Jezuski. Okay. Okay, Wait, so go ahead. Written on you them? said these. You said these uh, oh, albums have been in your family for several years? Yeah, no. I, I mean, since they probably came out or whatever, but they don't really have a sentimental value to our family. And so really? I'm, we're not really collectors. Either. I'm very curious as to how these came about because, for example, um, this Rod Stewart album is a complete anomaly. Uh, and the Hustle album Yeah, as there well, are some that are just totally out of place. W with the rest of these. Because a lot of these... It was like Philharmonic or looked like church stuff or just like stu just like random, stuff that I've never a heard of. random assortment of yes. more classically yes. oriented music. But I'm very surprised that there's this, this Rod Stewart album in here. This would be like almost like um, in today's comparison if someone brought you a record collection of, let's say like country albums and then all of a sudden like a rap album found its way into the middle of the mix like cause this, yes. again, I'm just very surprised after having looking through all of these this Rod Stewart album is in the middle of this because it's just it's odd I have to say I did not look at any of these I don't think anyone in my family like I said looked at any of these and so this was the first time anyone and has gone through this in a long time. Really? You know, in there. So, yeah, and I, I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised with the diversity and the little golden gems that were yeah. hidden in the stacks. The ones that I'm really happy about, I'm going to put in this pile. Herman's Hermits for my mom. Nice. Uh, Rod Stewart, because I love the song Do You Think I'm Sexy, and that's on this album. The Sound of Music, never seen the movie. I'll probably never watch it because it's like four oh. or five hours long. Well, that's but cool. But I'll be interested in giving, the, uh, in giving the music a shot. More of Les. Les Paul and his trio, I'll give that a go because of Les Paul. 
And some of this, too, it's like, I don't want to judge a book by its cover. Like, some of these look pretty whack. Like, not this one, but a couple other ones look pretty wacky. But who knows? It might have a lot of really good music. The Hustle, definite winner. Dynamite, Andy Williams, I can tell you. I'm probably going to pass on this church music. Nothing against church music. I'll probably have to pass on that. What? You don't want Bless This House no, I'm from good. the St. Michael's Bless Adult this house. Choir? Oh, maybe I'll keep oh, it as a hurt. maybe I'll keep it as like a gag gift if someone oh, you that know would, that actually would be a funny gag brand gift. new mint condition mint condition record yeah have fun how hello songs of the island see again bass I don't know what music could be. I'm gonna have to go through this you know what I'll have to do is um well what did your mom say she she would donate the ones that I don't want to someone who makes them into bowls. Yeah, just a recycling thing, so. Like they melt down the vinyl and... I guess so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can do all sorts of really cool stuff with... Vinyl. Old cool. vinyl, yeah. Well, I'll sort through all this again really quickly at the end. I don't want to okay. spend time. Just... You going to keep the Confederacy one? Yeah, I'll keep that one for sure. I forgot about that one. You know. I, I really think that that was, that was the one where <laughs> I was like, hmm, do I want do I want to give that to Victor yeah. or do I want to keep it myself? I'm like, yeah. I'm, I don't listen to records. I mean, it's a cool little historical thing. And, well, you were you were a history major yeah. in college, so you have an appreciation for I do. some of that stuff. Like um, the era that we're living in right now. I, uh, I do, yeah. Um, and, sorry, I just noticed that your, I remember your, you were like, what the heck, my phone is low battery, and I think your Bluetooth headphones are still on. Yeah, they're normally on. They flash just blue just constantly. Leave them on all the time? That's probably why it's draining your battery. They even last, when you're they not last using a full them? day, yeah. Oh, on okay. All day. It's really cool. I love the, I, dude, I'm telling you, man, that's the next transition you have to work on making. In I w- I've been thinking about that a lot. I've been thinking about that a lot, Get, because, uh... Dude, you're... Pulling my oh, mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was, my feet that were tugging on the cord there. <laughs> it's all good. Um, my uh, the store manager Karen is. She's I don't know in her f- early fifty. I don't actually have no idea how old she is. I think she's like in her early fifties or late forties or mid fifties. I have no idea. But she, I saw her wearing those types of headphones that were just like yours. I was like, oh, it's. It's funny to see people who are like your parents' age and embracing they are, you know, the they're with it. Yeah, they and they get it. It's like, well, oh, you Karen's got wireless Bluetooth headphones and I see more and more people at the gym. And what I do when I'm at the gym, I plug in my headphones, I take my sh- my phone, I drop it down my shirt so that, that. The, so oh, that yeah. it doesn't get snagged on anything. Old school. But then um so as, I reach, as I reach, as oh. I reach, yes, as oh I reach, goodness. or as I like to say, antiquated, or as I, is <laughs> yeah. what my brain wants to say after having, after now, or before I was a, uh, accustomed to saying antiquated, um, I would reach for my phone and like the cord would be in there and then I, uh, it is a nuisance and it really, you really don't know what you're missing out on until you just rid yourself of that bad habit or that bad item or whatever it is that's just holding you back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, like I said, when I'd forgotten my Bluetooth back, and but these aren't the Bluetooth that right. I'd forgotten. Yes. I'd forgotten you, my original pair, which I thought were awesome, by the way. Yeah. I, I really had this idealized image of the, the first Bluetooth headphones that I got fit around my ears. It was a stiff plastic, so mm. it didn't... I remember, no, yeah. No wire or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Form fit perfectly, great for running, water, uh, relatively water resistant, good battery life, yeah. you know, decent battery life. And uh, then I forgot in Minnesota like, and, like, for a year. And uh, didn't you get them back and they weren't as cool as you thought they were, oh my or God. like they were? It like, dude, my sister got me these right for Christmas um, two a year ago. Yeah, you know, I want to say. And these are the more typical. They're like a loose wire that you can sort of hang around yeah. your neck, whatever. They, but they've got the ear. The ear yeah, it wraps, it wraps yeah. around the ear. It wraps around the ear so that it doesn't fall out. That's always been a problem with me. So she gets me these, and I still have this idealized image of my uh, my first Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you know, flop like it's a floppy wire, like it's not stiff or whatever. Yeah. I like the stiffness just because you can sort of hold it and just stuff yeah. like that. I start using it. I'm like, this is nice. Like the 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 mic works. I can talk on the phone. That was an issue that I had with my other Bluetooth yeah. things that I didn't realize could be a thing. So. 
I don't I don't talk with the phone up next to my ear ever yeah. anymore. I just don't. I it's always through the Bluetooth mic okay. on here. And so I go back to Minnesota and I'm looking forward to getting it at the end, even though I'm satisfied with those, but I'm just happy to like yeah. have an option or whatever. I pick it up, it's like covered in duct tape because it has started falling apart, so I've had to duct tape oh, it together. Really? It wouldn't charge and uh, I put it on my ears, and I'm like, this is like chafing the top of my ears. Really? And then I remembered, it, I used to have an issue if I wore it too long or whatever. I couldn't wear it like these. I wore uh-huh. all day. Uh, those I could only wear for a period of time because they chafed my ears. <laughs> and so just the simple simple little changes, not even realizing it, you can you can even, even further upgrade your life Good. From, from a new sort of... Good for you. Revolution. I don't know why I got so excited about that, but it's... It, it really is a game changer, man. Like, wires uh, wires are going to be yeah. a thing in the past. What I don't get, though, is the earbuds the with with no wires at all, the, the Apple that, yeah. buds. The, my main concern is that I've never had Apple headphones that have not fallen out of my ears. I, they've never they fallen just, out of my ears. I have weird ears. They always, I am always able to just plug them right in. That's weird. And they work. Mine, my ears don't work that way. Um, I do like that the Apple ones are small, though. But uh, changing gears real quick. Yes. What uh, what politics stuff were you talking about with your mom? I heard, like, uh, leaking. I was like, ooh, there's juicy information. And I heard Mueller. You know. Keep me up to speed on what's happening I, okay, right now. Okay, so here's what I'll say about all of this. Is that I feel like I'm just, there's such an overload right now in the sense that there's so much happening that my mind is just like all anyone's talking about in in media or in mm-hmm. news or whatever is like Trump. You can have sports or you can have Trump. And right. it's just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like every single program that you turn on, like during primetime, that's not a sitcom or a whatever, like any news always leads with Trump. Trump, <laughs> Trump, 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 Trump. And like for good reason too, but it's just so fucking exhausting. And I agree, I... I'm starting to realize just how tired I am of all this. I we we know as an American people, he's a horrible human being. He's corrupt, like Russian collusion, whatever. Like I don't, I the jury's still out on like his personal involvement, but like he was surrounded by a bunch of people who were trying to rig the election in favor of like the evidence is there, mm-hmm. and it's going to be confirmed for it when Mueller releases an investigation. But like. Dude, it's just so exhausting. Because it's like, how many bad things is an administration capable of doing? And it's just like, endless. It's endless. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, just recently, the Iran deal was scrapped. Oh, yeah, I did That's see like, that. Okay, well, they have their money anymore. Like, they have they have the money that we were holding fr- from them. Obama gave them something like $100 million or something like that. Released, released that money that, were, that was in U.S. possession after Iran signed the deal to denuclearize and to not work on nu- mm-hmm. uh, and to dismantle their nuclear program, uh, nuclear weapons program. And so uh, they have their money. Like, we can impose sanctions, but they don't get most of their imports from us. Like, and no, no one else in Europe is going to sanction them. In fact, they want, like, yeah. So anyway, it's, just, <laughs> it's, it's stuff like that where it, it really, I think what's so depressing is, like, Okay, if a news story starts with what is the worst like what is the worst thing that a human being could do in this situation, like you know that's gonna be the case. Okay. It's like any time you're like, well, if there's a choice to like like save a baby from a bird in a building or like dump him in the bathtub and like drown him, like you know what the answer to the story is gonna be. Like I, that's a stupid fucking no. analogy. But it's it's how I feel. It's like it's the always the worst thing. It's always it, the choice is always the bad choice that that is just made over and over again. Like whatever hurts the most amount of yeah. people, and it's just so frustratingly insane because it's just like there's nothing that you or I can do about. It. We just sort of have to watch it happen. All right, I just wanted, uh, I just wanted to get the four one one on all no, that. No, that was a little ranting. Right no, well. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking myself right before you said that. I was, I was, I asked myself like, oh, he's like ranting. Is this a portion that he'll probably want to like 
just cut out depending on how long he's ranting for because like I'm listening but it's just like it's now just like ranting and venting so I don't really know how much of this would we want to continue keep in the <laughs> podcast but it wasn't that long it wasn't like this 45 no. minute spiel on just because when you said like what's going on with <laughs> politics basically I'm just sharing the sentiment that I'm feeling really depressed by, yeah. by the news <laughs> yeah. like it's just really depressing yeah and, I was kind of like and, looking for just some information not necessarily like your emotional state of mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for a newscast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, no, yeah, nothing really has changed with the. Okay. There's this new dude, uh, Michael Avenatti. I don't know if you've heard of his name. No, he's I've a fascinating not. character. He's been going on all the cable talk shows, but he's he's a Stormy Daniels lawyer. Okay. And so he's making this huge fuss, but basically he's winning. He's winning trolling the president. Like the president is great at trolling other people. Yeah. But this dude is like trolling him in a way that no one else has ever been able to. Not a politician. Is he do it on a media uh, figure in front of a camera or like on social media or just everywhere? everywhere. Okay. He's everywhere, and he's doing like basically he he's saying Donald Trump's personal attorney is guilty of sin over and over and over again. Yeah. And it's like. Like what sort of like secret stuff is going on right. with in that relationship, and it's just so annoying because he's the lawyer for a porn star who's getting involved in. Uh, oh like, yeah, I saw this national thing. National, I saw this uh, this image on Facebook or Instagram or something, and it said something like when it was a picture of Bill Clinton and then of Trump, and it was like when you know Bill Clinton, a Democrat the whole Monica Lewinsky thing, Republicans were saying, like, impeach, impeach, impeach. This thing happens with Donald Trump and Stormy Daniel, Daniels, and Republicans are like, oh, like, whatever, like, not that big of a deal, like, yeah, who cares? Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I was reading, I saw that, I was like, oh, I totally forgot about that, the whole Bill Clinton thing, like that, because that, at the time, was just like, what? Yeah. Like, something like this, at this point now, with the, Admi- with his administration, like the Stormy Daniels thing comes out, him. and it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's not really a surprise. Yeah, like, but what? Oh. Bill Clinton Wait. sex scandal? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? In the Oval Office? Yeah. Although he was he was accused of murder too. Like, Bill Clinton? Yeah. When? It was um, what white Whitewater or no? Gosh, I can't remember what it was, but it was there was this whole scandal. Uh, I can't remember if he was president at the time. I think it was bef- right, like as he was running for president. Basically, he was accused of murder because there were former staffers who committed suicide, and so uh, okay, it, it was the it was also the first time that you'd seen like full blown conspiracy theorists sort of just launched out in okay. there into the public sphere. So yeah, there. Were, but yeah, it was the first time that the American public had seen because you know media and all that was like oh, everyone knew, and mm-hmm. it was like water, t- and it was scandalous. Yeah, it was horrible. Like, yeah, how could he do something like that? But. Now, I know, damn, right? dude. Like, and it's come out that he, like he likely has other payments going on too. Right. So it's just like, okay, well, cool. Um, so I have a a story a story for you that I know you'll enjoy. So last night, as you know, I was doing another student film. This time <laughs> in, um, I was in I was in Chicago, but it was like right outside of the city in this place called like Labag or Labag, I don't know, L-A-B-A-G-H Woods, Labag Woods or something like that by okay. the airport. Anyway, I'm there and I'm supposed to be there at four o'clock. I'm running a little bit late because I leave my house and my Google Maps is saying, you know, ETA 45 minutes. Like, okay, perfect. You should get there right on time. And Google Maps, as you know, takes into consideration traffic, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. I'm driving for about 15 or 20 minutes, and the thing updates, ETA, 45 minutes. It's like, hmm, that's interesting, because it was 45 minutes about 15, 20 minutes ago when I left my house. And I saw on the Google Maps, like, oh, car crash, you know, adding adding some time. Like, okay, the traffic wasn't, like, horrible traffic. It was, like, standard. Anyway, I get there, and... Uh, Wait, there was no... Was there any point to the... Car, like the length of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> was it literally just talking about? This? There was no point other than just letting you know what my commute was like. Wow. Just getting. <laughs> 
Holy cow. Uh, <laughs> and before that, I walked out of my house leading with my right foot. I closed the door with my He's left hand up. and then I looked and then I, and then I looked at the sky and watched a squirrel before I got in my car. <laughs> <laughs> cool story, bro. Right. So what else? What else? What else? What else is your? Uh, what else does a regular day in the life of Victor look like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really thought it was building up to something, man. Like, it, it was like, well, I looked on the GPS and I'm like, no. yeah, yeah, and it said it was going to be 45 minutes. And then it updated 15 minutes later. And said it was going to be 45 minutes. And I'm like, what's going on? And I'm like, is he? Did he get Nothing. lost? Is he going in the other direction? Nothing and then he said is it was going a car on. Crash, the traffic wasn't actually that bad. <laughs> and so I got there. Did it take you the 45 minutes that the uh, GPS told you? Were you there before the 45 minutes or after? Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I get there. Oh. And it's like this, there's like a giant park and there's trails and everything, right? So it's not like I get there and it's easy to find. Like he's giving me specific directions to get to where he is, like on this trail by the river. <sighs> and um, anyway, I get there like 15 to 20 minutes after I'm supposed to be there. And he's giving me these instructions on how to get there. And he sent me a Google image pointing like park in this spot because there's a giant the parking lot is like a giant <laughs> circle and then in the middle is like a park and then there's trails that shoot off all okay. over the place. Like, so park here. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be parking approximately, if this circle was a clock, approximately where it says about three o'clock. And he says, walk past, you know, once you get, once you go past the bridge, go left and walk down the trail, this and that, that and this. I'm like, okay. I'm like, wait a minute. And for right away, I'm just like, wait, but I crossed a bridge getting into the park but now that I'm at the park, I don't see a bridge. Oh, wait, there's a bridge over there. And then, but it, I saw, it was just this little hump in the ground where the trail is, like, mm -hmm. a, like a paved trail with a yeah. yellow line for bicycles and everything. And I was like, oh, there's a bridge. And I walk up to him like, wait, that's not a bridge. It's just a little hump and it's got giant concrete dividers on each side, like construction concrete dividers. Mm -hmm. You know, the type that mm -hmm. they put in the road to like hit when if like a sidewalk is closed and you have to walk in the street and they put oh, yes, you know yes. or something like that and it's painted it's there intentionally because there's like art on it okay. and everything I'm like well that's not the bridge and then he sends me this video i wish i had my phone with me otherwise i'd show you he sends me this video like take the first left not the second left and so he takes a video looking down the trail it's panning looking at the first left that i'm not supposed to take and then he sends me a second video panning of the second left that I'm supposed to take. I'm just like, dude, this is not making any sense right now. What? Oh, can you, I'm, I am so lost right, right now. Right? I'm, I'm really confused. Okay. Go, can you remind me why you were meeting him? To do a student film. To do a student film. And the backstory of that was like you just got it, just the regular process of like. No, okay. So his. So his girlfriend is the one who did the student film where I was telling you, like, I got there at five. We didn't start shooting until seven. It was real artsy, real, real weird yeah. and everything. And I and so he had asked me when we finished, like, hey, would you want to do this film that I'm doing in a couple of weeks? Oh, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll, right. I'll do okay, that. That's I'll do that. That's that fine. Yeah. 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 The the bad experience where I'm just like, this is a giant pain in the ass. And yet you agreed to do another one with people associated with, with that project. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just to see what it's like. So okay. Yeah, well, yeah, so yeah. so, so just, there's yeah, a little yeah. background. Yeah. That so this may lead to an interesting so experience. Yeah. So I, making no sense. Just to just to I do it just to be like, okay, I hope this is an isolated incident where like I just had this real bad experience and not not all films are like this. Oh my God. You so, are such a sad, So I do sad, it, but also I'm like, I just want another cred to my resume as well. Course, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. So I agree to do it also in part because I'm at the point right now where it's like, or I'm not really at any point, or I'm not at a certain point, but anytime I'm looking for a good story, so I'll endure in order to tell a good story at my expense. Okay. So, yeah, get comfortable. Put your feet up. I am. Um, this is, this is so I... 
get to this park, and initially I, I cross that um, path, and it's weird. It's really weird because like, there's the hill, and then there's the concrete dividers, and then there's a path that's like a uh, trail, like rocks and and mulch, that is perpendicular to the. Uh, asphalt path that has the concrete dividers running parallel to it. And so what people do is they will walk over this concrete divider. Yeah. Or sometimes if you're on a bicycle, you have to like, you have to kind of like go around a little bit. So I'm just trying to think like, why are these concrete dividers here? Because you'd think this is like an acceptable intersection. I don't understand why, unless they just don't want like cars going over but the trail's not big enough for cars it's just like really weird and it was just confusing for me anyway i uh am going and i'm walking down this path and i'm like trying to figure out where i'm going i'm like i don't know what i'm doing like i'm going back to the car i'm like i have no idea where i'm going i'm going back to the car so you guys can send someone to come find me and um <coughs> And then I, like, move my car from one parking spot to another and then move it back. And the whole thing was just like, what the fuck? Like, why can't you just give me extremely specific directions? Not like this vague go left by the bridge type thing. Well, you would have thought that the video and would have clarified. I would have thought, too. Yeah, right? This <laughs> so video. going to take a video, make and, it useful. And also, I'm thinking, like, how difficult is it for someone to just meet me and bring me there? It's not. No, it's not. Especially especially if they know that the likelihood of somebody not being able to find a place is pretty high. Yeah. Like, send someone. Yeah. Like, just find. Like, and I didn't want to, and I was Come walking on. around for like 15 minutes, but I didn't want to keep walking because I didn't want to go in the wrong direction and then have to walk all the way back, yeah. right? And so I'm sitting in my car. I'm just like, I'm not going to move at all. And uh, he, I'm like, send me your exact location. So he sends me his location and I see where he is pinpointed. And I'm just like, what the hell? And so I look at the I look at the video again carefully, and I'm like, wait a minute. Is the bridge you're talking about this bridge? Because we crossed to bridge at the entrance. So I showed him a video of where I am. I'm like, did you go down this path? Oh Is this so where you're, you're going? Literally and I just did that to right I just now. did the, I didn't do that to intentionally try and figure things out. I did that to like, I'll play your game. Like, let's see if you can figure out what I'm trying to say. Wow. He's like, yes. So I'm like, okay, I figured it out. I'm looking at the video more closely. I'm like, okay, I got it. I'm walking back to originally where I was. I'm like, oh, I identified the path, the first path that you said not to go on because I'm looking at this tree. I see this, tr I see the tree and I see this branch going like this. And in this part of the video, there's like these weird, this weird twig configuration. And I'm looking and I'm like, okay, branch, branch, twig configuration. This looks like about the distance from, wow. from in the video from where he is to where the concrete, okay. And I keep walking down. I look at the second video. Okay, this tree looks like this. There's a mound of mulch right there. There's another trail next to the main trail. I walk, I'm like, okay, I think, yep, this is it, this is it. So I walk down there, right? I'm walking, 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 walking. I find my way to exactly where I was, the point where I stopped and I turned around. I just had gotten there a different way because I, the way I got there initially was I went down that first trail that I wasn't supposed to go down. I walked along the river the whole way. I was like, this can't be right. I walked back. The second time, what happened was I kept walking on the main trail, and then the second left I was supposed to make, then I went down into the river. So it could have go either way. Yeah. He could have just said, make your first left and take the trail right next to the river and just walk like, walk like. Were there a bunch of different trails? 200, 300 meters. No. It's just one main trail with little trails that lead off into the forest where the river is. And all of those little trail trails that go into the forest lead to the trail directly next to the river. Oh. So it's not like this crazy forest that you can yeah. get lost in. But it, and so it's like a big loop. Like, it, the yeah. trail goes all the way yeah. around. So. It's, okay. it's not like this crazy thing. So he all he could have said was, go to the river, keep walking, and you'll eventually see me, something like that, you know, with a little more specificity. But man, talk anyway, about a great, great way to start the. I process. finally get there. I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> I get there, and it's just him by himself. And initially, when I told him, like, oh, I just got, he's like, oh, it's cool. Like the person with the costumes will be here in another 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, cool. But he's just there by himself with the camera, and it's this isn't a sophisticated setup. It's yeah. just a camera on top of a tripod with a microphone attached to it. 
And so I'm like, wait a minute. Why didn't you just stay in the fucking parking lot and wait for me? And we could have just walked there together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead of you're waiting by yourself in this forest. So it, trying to give me these directions. So you didn't have a bunch of equipment either. No. It was, it was just the camera. It was, yes. It was just a camera and a tripod. It wasn't like all this crazy equipment. Is he, is he uh, weird? Like personality wise? He's... Eccentric? No, 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 or no. What's, what, how would you describe his personality? Um, w- weird is not a good descriptor. But no, I, like, no. Describe his... G- give give a characteristic breakdown. Uh, he's... I mean, I don't know. I don't really want to waste my time doing that. Okay, I fine. can't really figure out how to describe him. Don't worry about it. Um, but I, I, I did think of this. If you're doing something like this, professionalism does not cross his mind the way it should okay. you know he wasn't immature or anything but totally just, normal guy yeah. but it's obviously it's obvious he was a student in the sense that he did not give me information ahead of time specific directions like when you park here when you get into the lot park at this place when you get there go in this direction do that there was not that um there was attention not attention to detail attention to detail yes. correct there's not attention to detail yeah and so um anyway I get there, and we start shooting at, like, I don't know what time it is, 6 or 6.30 or something like that. And because we're waiting for this other a- the other actress and the person bringing the costume, who's his girlfriend, who was the director of the first film that I did. Oh, good. Right? And, this um, is the party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're doing the shots and everything, and I'm wearing this suit, right? Like an old-fashioned, real old-fashioned suit. And when I got there... I knew I had to change into this, so I was just wearing shorts, a t-shirt, and just some flip-flops, right? Some sandals. And anyway, I'm sitting there with my sandals on, and then I had to, like, I don't know why I took them off for some reason, but then they're like, oh, like, uh," he's like, oh, getting a shot of your feet would be real good because you're supposed to be, like, living in the forest, like this vampire that's living in the forest or some weird shit. And they're like, and then the girlfriend's like, oh, we should get his feet dirty. And he's like, no, it'd be okay. It'll be okay. He's like, no, we should get it dirty because he's like been in the forest for, for a while. And I'm like, wait a minute. So you're going to rub some dirt on my feet, right? And I already know that they don't have a washcloth for me to clean my feet because this wasn't anticipated. <sighs> right? Yeah. And... Did you say anything? No. Oh the, my I just, God, Ben No, I, because this is why. What have I taught you? Yeah, no, this is why. No, years. no, this is, Come listen, on, listen, man. listen. Let me tell you this. Come on. I just wanted to let it happen. I just decided no. to let it happen. No. Listen. It, it would have been a great story if you stood up for yourself and said, no, I will not accept this. I would have loved to hear how that would have gone. But listen, no, listen. You did that listen, same thing listen. that you <laughs> You no, run over. I was no, I didn't want it to happen, but I was going to allow it to happen for All the right. sake of the story okay. and also so that I could just witness them really like <laughs> I was just wanting to say like what is your thought process like the, we're going to get his feet dirty we do, we don't have anything to cross so your are you like they're having this conversation you're having to wash your staring at them I'm yeah <laughs> I'm just letting it happen to the side. And then they're like and then they're like oh wait and cuz my feet they're like oh wait let's get some of the underneath of his foot cuz the camera will see it so I'm just like, fuck it. Let's just take a shit on my face while we're, <laughs> while we're at it. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my so, because, it, like, if I was, I just don't know what some people are thinking sometimes. Like, it, the, and they're, I don't know. I just don't know. If I'm making a film Breakfast and I want to get line. someone, if I, I'm making a film and I want to get someone's feet you. dirty, I wouldn't even say, let's get your feet dirty if I didn't have a way to clean it, clean your feet, right? It was so weird. And um, and so we finished the film up. It didn't take Wait, that so long. Wait, so did they get your feet dirty? Yeah, they got their oh feet dirty. Oh, my God, they did. And they're like, oh, that... sorry we got your feet dirty. I'm like, oh, it's cool. Of course you would say that. Yeah, and... Um, <laughs> Why are you taking shit on my face? And I get home. <laughs> yeah. I get home and I'm sitting in the bathtub like I'm not in the whole I just have my feet in the bathtub I'm like washing my feet off I can't believe I'm fucking doing this right now of course um, but <laughs> there's just like zero foresight on their end no, like no, no. absolutely zero foresight yeah and the thing the thing that I'm learning is that people like 
people overestimate their managerial skills. Like, the thing that I learned in grad school is that you have to be taught how to be a good manager. You have to be shown how to be a good manager. You have to learn from people who are good managers. You can't just, like, do it yourself. So if you're going to do anything that involves coordination of people, like, you got to know, like, some basic things. Like, Mm -hmm. details. Like, attention to detail. Like, that's probably one of the biggest things that I think people sort of are like, well, I'm not a detailed-oriented person, but I can still manage. Like, it'll be fine. No, you can't. Like, because shit like that's going to happen. And the, what's the result? You don't, you weren't able to interact with the people who you worked with before because they don't want to work with you anymore because mm-hmm. you've shown yourself to be incompetent. Yes. And it just goes back to just, like, that experience has further um, strengthened, my, strengthened my appreciation for shout out to, which I don't ever do, so this means something, Christopher Rohrbeck of Columbia College, Chicago, when I worked on the set of Moon Miner. Wow. Professionalism, organization, just really hardworking people, everyone detail-oriented, just wow. Super professional and extremely organized. And you said U of C? University of Chicago? No, uh, Columbia College. Columbia College. In Chicago. In Chicago. Yeah, Columbia College, Chicago. I was just like, wow, these guys, top-notch. These people, everybody... Is going somewhere. They were you know? taught. They were taught the right way. Yeah. They were taught the basic things that you can do. Yeah. Like all because as because and then I found out again later. Someone told me like, oh yeah, like Columbia College, they teach you industry standards, whereas like School of the Art Institute of uh, in Chicago is just kind of like, let's make a film. This is this is a good idea, and you can do. It's like real artsy, more artsy than it is it's like dedicated to the creative process and not necessarily. The business, the business slash creative process as well, like the production. The production, yes, yeah. good point. Yeah, production, creation versus production. Yeah, like, yeah. So, do you want to write a book with a, you know, computer and or uh, pen or uh, what's it called? What, what are the pen, ink? Uh, what are the ones that are ink? The real nice felt, tip? felt No, not felt tip. The ones. Ballpoint. No, not ballpoint. No, those pens suck. That's every single pen out calligraphy? there. Calligraphy. No, not calligraphy. The ones that you Dude, have to... I'm, like, running out of pens here. Fountain pen. Oh, fountain, fountain yeah. pen. Yeah. The one that I didn't yeah. use. Yeah. So if you are to, you know, write a book, you, know, you do it on Microsoft or, or whatever program, you do it in a professional way, or maybe you want to do it handwritten, col- or uh, fountain pen, cursive, or you can just fucking take a pencil and crayon and just go to town, you know? <laughs> like... Yeah. That's exactly what it felt like. Yeah. Draw on the wall. I don't Draw know, on the wall. Like, <laughs> you know? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm already just tired talking about all of this, but no. You get I the mean, idea. Was it? Was it? Uh, was it? The experience, it's one the t- learning experience that you hoped it would be by allowing them to shit on your face. And <laughs> it wasn't. It, in, it wasn't do necessarily you feel satisfied. It was just. I'm. I'm happy you knew with what it. You were getting into. Like, I knew what I was getting into because this is what I. I mean, there's no. There was no reason for me to say no. Like, one, one more credit to the resume. Yeah. Two, another experience that would help me appreciate the really awesome experiences, Mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And three, you know, you can't just be handed luxury the moment you start your uh, journey. No, but I still think that it would have been fascinating for you to be confrontational for the first time ever. It would have been... Not not even... I don't mean confrontational in, like, yelling. Yeah. Just... Standing your ground and saying, yeah. you don't have, like, you don't have a cloth to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. feet. Let's and the other thing, that. too, was, like, uh, the director is, like, okay, perfect. Let's let's do one more just, <laughs> just for safety. We do one more. It's, like, okay, awesome. I think we got it. And then his girlfriend would be, like, oh, let's, let's, let's do one more to do this. I'm, like, shut up. He's the director. He says it's good. Like, yeah. let's just fucking wrap this up. I mean, we didn't do a lot of, I mean, with her being there, suggesting the extra takes, um, I mean, we did a grand total of maybe like eight to ten extra takes of all these different shots. You know, a couple here, a couple yeah, so there. How many hours was it? I was only there for about. I was there for like three and a half hours, but we were actually working for only like two, maybe two and a half of like actual filming. Okay. Um. But anyway, it was just like, this is the last time that I'm doing a film 
Well, I should say this also. Ah! Is it the last time you're doing a film with them? No, with them, yes. Oh, okay. But for SAIC, the, the I did three of them. The one that I did for School of the Art Institute in Chicago, the one I did a couple weeks ago, um, the, that's the one I was telling you about with the macchiatos, you know? Yes, That, yes. Uh, for people listening, reference back to, I think it's episode 90. Um, that was That was okay. That was all right, but... Probably won't be working with these other two people again. I mean, they're cool. They're good people. You know, they mean well, but there's just no foresight. And, you know, yeah, and you, you, there's mean, a certain level of expectation that was not met. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's fair. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, that's... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got, man. That's all you got, too? That's all I got. Oh. Well, you don't want to add anything? What? Like what? <laughs> like how you're going to be gone for an X amount of time until we can come back to... I suppose. Yeah, so I am moving to Minneapolis on Sunday morning. It's uh... On Sunday morning? Yeah. I thought it was Saturday. No, it's, it's Sunday morning. Wait, are, are they coming to get you? Uh, we're meeting in Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. So my mom's driving me two hours north. and That's your going. Mother's Day gift? <laughs> Getting the fuck out of the house. house. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Mrs. Thorsell. Does she still listen? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Very cool. Yep. So good, good Mother's <laughs> Day present. I'm, I'm out of here. Um, but, no, I'm really, uh, we need to hopefully be able to make this uh, remote work. I don't know. Yeah, we can do that. Or something. Or, because I need, like... I need a better sound system than a computer, I would right. imagine. Or um, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure it out. In the next two days. Yeah. No, we will. We will. We will. We will. But yeah, that is the next uh, You know, next story on the horizon would be when uh, you return or we'll even maybe we can crank one out maybe even tomorrow or something like that. Yeah. Maybe. We'll figure it out. We will. Uh, I th- uh, we just want to let everyone know that we came so close to getting 100 episodes in within one year. And Rick's just we're still gonna, had to get we're off and... We're still going to get 100 <laughs> episodes in, dude. We're on what, I'm 90? just kidding. This is 92, I think. 92. I believe so. So, dude. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't, I'm great. not trying to make you feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. I'm happy that you're... Taking I, this I don't leap. Feel guilty. And Good. and honestly too, you know, I don't know what the future holds. Um, I I have no roots right now. I was I'm, thinking I'm, also I'm a, I'm a leaf in the wind, more or less. I was thinking also. Um, I was thinking also like, oh man, like we've been putting these out every cup every week. Like, oh, what if people are, you know, what if people stop? Blah blah blah. blah. I'm like, I don't care. Like, th- we could just not do this for six months. But all I'm all I care about is just like holding on to what we've been doing and just having it for my personal use in the years to come. So, like, the people listening and making it a business thing is all, like, secondary to just, like, having a cool conversation recorded available at any time that you want to listen to between now and when I die. (laughs) And and don't forget, too, that Minnesota is only a a seven-and-a-half-hour bus ride away. Only seven-and-a-half hours. Only seven-and-a-half, and that's a bus ride, too. That yeah. goes through fucking Wisconsin. As Probably, if I ever go out there, I'd rather take an airplane. Yeah, super quick. But yeah, yeah, man, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. And to everyone out there, thanks for uh, entertaining our little. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. This isn't the end. We'll s- there might be a uh, there might be a little break between there episodes. There might be a small break, but we're still we're gonna, gonna make an effort to make this a regular thing. Yeah. So. so yeah. Uh, so yeah, and feel free to send us any. In- yeah, Something where can they got. where can they reach us? Oh man, what what is our it's uh, We've gone through so many different emails so with like the different things addresses. going on. It's it's in the intro. It's in the intro. <laughs> so, it was in the last intro as well for no, episode 91 for I think reference, or but 90, I don't know. You know, we appre- we appre- Victor and I, I can speak on behalf of Yeah, Victor. go we, ahead. We really appreciate it. Close us out. Everyone who has gotten to this point in the podcast so far who listens to everything may not find what we have to say always necessarily entertaining or even <laughs> worth listening but to. But we don't care. But uh, we do care because we try to, you know, we try to put out the best content. We try that to we entertain. Every, we try to entertain. 
because we entertain ourselves. And yeah. we're glad that you've stuck with us this long. So uh, keep sticking with us. Mm-hmm.